Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to Simply Scripture. Today I'm going to be reading from the New King James Translation, and in this video I'm going to be reading the book of Ezekiel chapter 35. Um, before I get started, I want to say a little prayer. Dear God, I come to you today, I just want to thank you for getting me out of the bed this morning. Lord, I thank you for where you brought me in my life. I thank you for setting me on a foundation of you, Lord. Lord, I pray for our country. I pray for our extremely unstable country, Lord, that you just prepare your people for what is to come, whatever it may be, Lord. I know in the Bible, um, it's going to get crazy in the end times, Lord, and I don't know if we're there or not. Lord, I just pray that you prepare me and prepare your people for whatever is to come, Lord. Give us encouragement, strength. Give us wisdom and discernment, Lord, so that we can navigate this, this crazy world so that we can wind up with you one day, Lord. Lord, I just pray that you just guide me. Show me the way. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your son, Jesus, Lord. Thank you for every single beat of my heart that I don't deserve. We love you so much. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Alrighty, Ezekiel chapter 35. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Mount Seir and prophecy against it. And say to it, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O, o Mount Seir, I am against you. I will stretch out my hand against you and make you most desolate. I shall lay your cities waste, and you shall be desolate. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Because you have had an ancient hatred and have shed the blood of the children of Israel by the power of the sword at the time of their calamity, when their iniquity came to an end. Therefore, as I live, says the Lord God, I will prepare you for blood, and blood shall pursue you. Since you have not hated blood, therefore blood shall pursue you. Thus I will make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it the, the one who leaves and the one who returns. I will fill its mountains with the slain, on your hills and in your valleys and in all your ravines, those who are slain by the sword shall fall. I will make you perpetually desolate, and your city shall be uninhabited. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Because you have said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess, and we will possess them. Although the Lord was there, therefore as I live, says the Lord God, I will do according to, you, to your anger and according to the envy which you showed in your hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I judge you. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. I have heard all your blasphemies in which you have spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are desolate. They are given to us to consume. Thus with your mouth you have boasted against me and multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus says the Lord God, the whole earth will rejoice when I make you desolate. As you rejoice because the inheritance of the house of Israel was desolate. So I will, I will do to you. You shall be desolate, O Mount Seir, as well as all of Edom, all of it. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. God bless y'all, and I hope y'all have a spectacular day. Jesus loves you.